home building project is all about the details. But the details don't get much smaller than this. These doll houses are miniature versions of actual homes made to scale. They take a big sheet of plywood and slice it into smaller pieces. For a consistently accurate job, they use a saw guide, which positions the wood for a specific cut. There's a different guide for each dollhouse part. Using a hot iron, they brand the company name onto a foundation part. This dollhouse will be sold as a kit, and here they demonstrate how to put it together. Back on the production line, they're milling the siding. This machine cuts furrows in wood panels to mimic a clapboard finish. Next, using a router, they cut window and door holes. go up. Because this is a kit, each piece has to be a perfect fit because, unlike a real construction project, they can't do recuts on site. They install the second floor and tape it with ordinary masking tape while the glue dries. And now for the second story. It can take up to 100 hours to paint and assemble all the parts in a dollhouse kit, depending on how elaborate the design is. Next, they raise the roof. This Victorian design has a two-part roof with a tower in the middle. They add weight to apply pressure while the glue dries. This machine's protective cover has been temporarily removed to show its inner workings. They carefully feed in a piece of pine. It cuts the board into little shingles, which fall into a bin below. Once the shingles are stained, they hot glue them to the roof, following a grid that was penciled on in advance. They wrap the roof with tape to stabilize it while the glue dries. Back in the factory, four cutting wheels shape a piece of pine into moldings that will be used for trim on various models. The door now goes on. It's been trimmed with some of the molding we just saw being made. Windows also have some molding details. All this trim has been made on the same machine, using different cutters for the different profiles. This railing is a nice touch, and it will also provide support for the structure. All that's left is the interior decorating. Some people spend a small fortune on this stuff. Tiny toilets, chairs, even full kitchens in miniature. And in this model of President Lincoln's home, the details are historically accurate. Now they carefully pack up all the pieces. Soon they'll make some child's dream of home ownership come true. But first, somebody had better read the instructions.